Hey all, it's Brian here from quantlabs.net. Just want to show you one of the many, many, many algorithms that I have underway uh, from a variety of sources of Excel converting into C++. This is for both two systematic processes. The first one being uh, for Forex, for global Forex using macroeconomic indicators forward looking. And on top of that, another system that I've shown before, uh, this time last year, the end of 2015, uh, the version uh, and how I use um, basically a glorified pair trading using economic data for looking again. So I'm merging both uh, sets of algorithms into uh, maybe one, two libraries. I haven't figured it out yet, but the process and the architecture is pretty simple. But in this case, what I want to show you is the Kelly Criterion. Really simple uh, formula um, in, in Excel. And basically what it states is if you, this is the number of winning trades, the W minus the one minus W, which is the losing trades divided by a ratio. Um, and uh, that will give you the Kelly criterion. So in this case, we have a total winning uh, dollars and the total losing dollars. And we calculate our ratio uh, by dividing and then our Kelly criterion is this one right here. So using X to C, uh, I've shown this before, uh, all the uh, add-in to convert uh, by saving all. Uh, you can also do a preview of C Sharp or C++. And uh, I don't have anything set here, but um, if you go into the final output of the code, um, this is what it will look like. This is, this is right here is the header all the de declarations. I do have control on these const or constants. So they are listed or not as we're tagged into this. Uh, in this case, they shouldn't be there, but whatever. Uh, of course, we have two functions here. Um, these are just lazy uh, reference uh, that should be redeclared. And then um, this is the header and then the uh, actual code that is converted to generate the actual uh, calculation of the Kelly criterion is this. So uh, this is really built for uh, for Visual Studio. Take that out. I've shown all this before. And uh, of course we have our declarations here and uh, here. Plus we have two new functions for the calculations of the R and the actual Kelly calculation as well. Uh, so these functions uh, should work when you compile and build. Uh, I just wanted to show that to a lot of people. Uh, there's a couple of things that people should be aware of. Uh, there's actually two systems being built with all these algorithms. Uh, the first one is for Forex using macroeconomic uh, indicators and another set for glorified pair trading uh, between stocks or ETFs or even mutual funds. But uh, in terms of uh, source code, uh, on the Forex side, there's going to be a lot of scoring uh, logic used for things like uh, entry and exit for a certain pair on basically uh, the bias on the uh, trading pair and when to long what and what to short what. And um, that's all based upon around a very uh, sensitive uh, scoring uh, set of parameters throughout the whole system. So the big unfortunate is I won't be able to share that code to anybody, including even my Quant Leap members. It's just, it's just too valuable and too um, proprietary. So I've done this before. I can see myself move more into a shift of analytics and providing data um, using these systems that I plan to uh, develop and build. Um, there's that saying is if you have a golden goose, if it proves itself, that lays a golden egg, uh, but you wanna give out what? You kinda don't wanna give out the, the goose that lays a golden egg, but you give out the goose. So that, or sorry, you give out the golden eggs, not the goose that lays a golden, golden eggs, if that makes sense. Um, but uh, that's the plan of attack. Uh, and uh, hopefully uh, that will be, prove to be valuable uh, using both this system 
the other system that I wrote, but that again will be converted into C++ like you see here. On top of a third system that will measure both the options and the um, futures that I've gone on about before as well. So that's the plan of attack as we move into 2016. Uh, I've done the first set for the Forex side. Now i got to work on the glorified set to reconvert everything over uh, to C++. Um, and then have to work on, obviously, the client code and the logic code. So uh, that's the plan of attack, and uh, hopefully we'll get this done a lot sooner, but this, uh, I keep saying the uh, X2C for Excel here is going to save you a lot of time uh, once you get that working. So I just want to let uh, people mold that over and uh, give you some highlights of where we're at. Over and out.